Welcome back friends to Top 10 Nerd. I'm your host Johnny Rogers. Before we begin, smash that subscribe button if you happen to be new here and comment down below with who your favorite Marvel bad guy is. With that, let's get to today's video of the Top 10 Times Captain America Was a Bad Guy. In at number 10, dating two women. Not just dating two women, not just dating them at once, but dating two women who were sisters. Now, it may not be considered evil, but this is one of those times that Cap was just a bad guy. This one definitely stands out, especially considering how morally superior he tries to be at times. In the 1960s, when Captain America was first unfrozen, he started dating Sharon Carter, the younger sister of Peggy Carter, who was his girlfriend around the time of World War II. His brilliant excuse was that he didn't want to hurt Peggy, so dating them both would be for the best. It's a great insight into how he thinks, and that just because he believes something is right, doesn't make it so. Number nine, turning his back on Bucky. Fans really Really wanted Captain America to save his BFF Bucky from the government. After Bucky was framed by Zemo, the Sokovia Accords came into play and Cap didn't want to sign them. Instead of working with the government to get Bucky back, he decided to hide his friend, which in turn made Bucky a fugitive and forcing the government not to trust the actual good guys. When they escape, not only does this decision force Bucky to engage in killing cops and putting the lives of innocents at risk, it also ends with Bucky freezing himself. Number 8. He Beat Up a Fan Frank Castle has always respected Captain America, but when he killed two villains, Cap laid a beat down on the Punisher without him even fighting back. In volume 6 of the original Civil War comic arc, small time villains were looking to work with heroes like Captain America in fear of the government sanctioned superhero teams. The two villains that Frank killed were actually trying to work with Captain America, but when the Star Spangled Hero found out what he had done, he unloaded a vicious beat down. Sure, sure, he just killed off two new allies, but still, it was just a little too much. Number 7. Hitler and Friends In the recent Secret Empire story, Captain America actually aligned himself with Nazis. When Baron Zemo and Cap met at the Hydra Academy, a young skinny Steve Rogers was bullied a lot. Zemo was one of the few who helped stick up for him. And even after they left the Academy, the pair have remained secret best friends while Steve worked as a double agent. Oh, oh, and if that isn't enough for you, he also willingly saluted Hitler. Number 6. Supreme Leader I know, I know, Captain America joining the Hydra Academy is bad, but it gets worse. He also became the supreme leader of the Hydra High Council. This shocked fans when the last member of the council was revealed to be Captain America right when Hydra was ready to attack. It also turns out that the position was more of a gift for Steve after Madame Hydra had fallen in love with the hero turned villain. Number 5. He Killed His Protégé When Jack Flagg was recruited by Cap and S.H.I.E.L.D., he was sent on a mission to stop Zemo. However, things went horribly wrong for the young protege when he made the rookie mistake of not listening to orders. Instead of remaining behind, he confronted the villain with a Hail Hydra, and at that moment Steve tossed him out of Zemo's plane to what seemed to be his ultimate demise. Luckily his healing powers saved him, but he was left in a coma. To make things worse for poor Jack Flagg, Captain America decided to poison the young boy instead of having him wake up and spill the beans about what just took place. The only thing that stops this from happening is when Jack's parents decide to take him off life support, which leads to more screaming fans angry about his fake tears for this so called friend. Number 4. Selfish Behavior Captain America wants to continue his legacy as a true American hero, so in order to do that, he hides his true intentions and continuously masterminds plots to give off this image. As a double agent and Hydra High Council leader, he furthers their mission by letting some powerful villains free. Why you ask? Well, he wants to swoop in and look like a hero to the American people. When some super villains attacked New York City, Cap made sure that the Avengers were preoccupied with other matters. That way, when he saved the day, he could bask in all of the glory and praise. Number 3. He Killed a Teenager Now, albeit the team was Red Skull, but it was a teenage and newer version of Red Skull. Captain America actually broke his neck. The team was using a mind control power for evil, but instead of helping the distraught young man, he just snapped his neck. Plus, following that, he claimed victory in a very anti-hero fashion along the lines of something that the Punisher would do. If that wasn't bad enough, he also killed that Nazi Red Skull we love to hate. However, only because he was a threat to Hydra. Number 2. Planned Hulk's Death Find me someone who can forgive Steve Rogers for this and I'll show you someone without a heart. With Ulysses' ability to predict the future, Captain America looked to save himself by creating a potential future that could go down. That future was Bruce Banner on a Hulk rampage. When Ulysses 
sees the future of Bruce Banner experimenting with a new gamma radiation resulting in a Hulk rampage that kills everyone, that becomes a top priority to prevent. The only option is to kill the Hulk. Lastly in our number one spot, President Nixon's suicide. Now just because the comic books have not stated that the president is Richard Nixon, it is a character modeled after him. Regardless, he stood by and watched as the president committed suicide. And after finding out about corruption in the government, Steve decides to confront POTUS himself. Turns out the president was behind the whole scandal and instead of owning up to it, he shoots himself in the head. Now many may claim that it happened too fast for Cap to react, but he's a superhero guys. He could have reacted a little faster than he did. You're telling me the greatest soldier the world has ever known could only cover his eyes in that kind of situation? This also leads to Captain America leaving his country, his fans, and his shield behind in another very dark storyline. And that has been the top 10 times Captain America was a bad guy. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Plus, if you happen to be new here, make sure you're subscribed and comment down below with which one from our list troubled you the most. Plus, if you want more videos like this one, just click that playlist on the screen. From Top 10 Nerd, I'm Johnny Rogers and until next time, take care.